Straw Wave out here, Elise Reed and Jinyu Fry, plus 120 for Fry, minus 120 for Reed, over under two and a half rounds, minus 285 for the over, plus 285 for the under. Both ladies, two and three in their last five. Elise Reed, six and three in total. She's had a bit of a, an up and down. I mean, she hasn't really been too respected as far as the, the lines go. Uh, she's come, come through against Corey McKenna as a plus 230 dog. And then came through against Melissa Martinez as a plus 145 dog. And uh, the only time she was a favorite was against Sam Hughes. And uh, she lost that one. So she's coming in here as a slight favorite. It's Jinyu Fry, who got put out against Pollyanna Viana in her last yeah. fight, which was very shocking because Pollyanna is a big submission threat. But she came out and got the the knockout win and then she's coming in this one on two fight losing streak, which she could have won the split decision against Vanessa Demopoulos. It's a close fight. <sighs> this is a greasy, this is greasy, greasy, man. This is the definition of the greasy and it's, it's close to a pick them. Honestly, I'd probably just say dog or pass like on the feet. Elise Reed is solid. Like she has some, some pretty good, uh, kicks she's got some decent hands she uh i don't want to say she she can't grapple but like that's just where she's been exposed and like it's damn near blatant like she wants to keep the fight on the feet if you're a genuine fry like why would you even mess around like just go try to take her down like yeah sam hughes took her down and just destroyed her on the ground so jar eubanks destroyed her on the ground uh that was at flyweight though and then Loma Luke Bume even got her in a rear naked choke, which is was her first ever submission and her last time out. So the blueprint is there for Elise Reed. But if you if you're just gonna stand and strike with her, it's gonna be, you know, a close fight. It's probably gonna go to decision. And uh it could go either way. That's how she she's won her fights. So if you're Jinyu Fry, just take her to the ground, man. Just 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 use the strength. I mean, she's got fucking pipes. She's 38 years old, she's got pipes for arms. Yeah, she's she's bricked up eleven and eight record which is like doesn't tell me much like doesn't tell me you're, you're super high level skill wise it tells me you you're probably like a grinder and you gotta wit, get these wins um by just out muscling these chicks i think she could do that in this spot but is she gonna do that uh we'll see uh but that's her path to victory if she takes it i think it's there if she doesn't take it and just decides to strike with her and it's gonna be a decision uh, split decision, probably one way or the other. But I'm going to go dog or pass. I'll take Jinyu Fry. What do you think? Yeah, I think you bet this fight uh, split decision. Like you just said, I think it's a, a perfect candidate for a fight that's going to be split. And uh, I might be tripping. What Was Elise Reed, did she have Loma, Luke Boone, me in some trouble in that first round? Um, yeah, she ago? cracked her. Um, I couldn't remember if she almost subbed her, if she if she – knocked her I, I don't know if she got credited a knockdown but she looked good in that first round against loma yeah. at times yeah and loma is a pretty solid fighter um i mean i thought i thought elise reed had shown improvements at least in that first round and of course she gets submitted in the, in the second but um yeah man jenny fry 38 years old like you said if she gets the fight to the ground elise reed has shown that she's vulnerable there i mean that's how she loses fights um either by tko or submission um, uh, but Jinyu Fry, I mean, losing to Kay Hansen, she lost to Loma as well, but went all three rounds with her, was able to survive um, you know, that onslaught. I mean, after Loma landed 80 strikes and Jinyu Fry landed 26, she just got pieced up. Um, but then she lost to Vanessa Demopoulos, who didn't look that good last weekend. And then Pollyanna Viana obviously knocked her out really, really fast in that first round. So, man, Jinyu Fry, that's just her last two fights. It doesn't give you a whole lot to really be confident. Um, against a girl like Elise Reed, she didn't land a takedown in either one of her last two fights. She got taken down by Vanessa Demopoulos. Um, even when she won against Yoder, she didn't really look to take down Yoder many times, didn't land any, but her striking looked better in that one. But against Le Elise Reed, Elise has got to show that that takedown defense is getting a little bit better. I mean, it's under 50% right now. We've seen her taken down a couple of times, and it seems like each fight she's in, like four times against Hughes, three, two times against Loma, once by Melissa Martinez, three times by Corey McKenna. And, and, you know, to her credit, she's won some of those fights. She's found ways to win some of those fights. But 
if Jin Yu Fry can get it there, I just think she's stronger. She's more powerful. She can kind of keep the fight where she wants. But on the feet, man, it's just so greasy in a dog fight. Not a dog fight, excuse me, a pick em, that uh, <laughs> it's hard to kind of get a read on it. It's definitely not a dog fight. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, man, I'm going to lean, lean with Elise Reed, but uh, definitely staying away from this one. Yeah, I wouldn't get too invested either way because um, it's probably going to be a split decision. And uh, I'll side with the dog. 